Hey guys, I'm here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 5 Module 1 Lesson 6 homework. So let's get started. Number one, use greater than, less than, or equal to to compare the following. A, 16.45, and then, or 16.454. So let's see, let's start with the digit on the left. So we have a one here, so that's the same, so we move on. So we have six, so that's the same. So we both have 16. But then now if we look closer, we have a four and a four, so that matches. And we have a five and a five. But now this one has a four and this one has nothing else. So then that means this number, 16.454 is greater. B, we have 0 0.83 and 83 over 100. 83 over 100 is 83 hundredths. So these two numbers are the same, so they are equal. And C, we have 205 thousandths, that's 0 0.025, that's 0 0.205, sorry. And then here we also have 205 thousandths, so these two numbers are equal. All right, and D, we have 95.0, we have 95 and 45 thousandths, and 95 and 545 thousandths. So let's see, we have 95, and here we have a zero, but we have a five here. So the tenth, so the five tenths is greater than the uh, zero tenths. So that means this number is greater. And E, 419.10, wait, wait, 419.1, and 419.099. So if we look over here, 419 is the same, but after the decimal point, we have a 0 and a 1. So 1 is greater, which means 419 and 1 tenth is greater. All right, and F, we have 5 ones and 8 tenths, that's 5.8. And here we have 58 tenths, that's also 5.8. So these numbers are equal. And G, 36 and 9 thousandths, so that's 36.009. And 4 tenths would be 40. So 40 is obviously bigger, so 40 is bigger. And H, 104, that's 104, and 12 hundredths, that's 0.12. And now we have 104 and two thousandths. So two thousandths is 0 0.002. So 104, and if we look at the next digit after decimal point, that's zero and a one, and one is greater, which means this side is greater. And I, we have 158,000. So that's 0 0.158. And here we have 0 0.58. So zero, and then after decimal point, we have five and one. Five is greater, which means 0 0.58 is greater. Our and J, we have 703.005. Here we have 703 and 5 hundredths, so that's 0 0.05. So 703, after this one point, we have a 0, but then we have a 5 here and a 0 here, so that side is greater. Number 2, arrange the numbers in increasing order. So increasing means like growing bigger, so we're going from least to greatest. Let's first start by finding the least. So all these numbers, they have an 8. But then if we go to the next digit, here's a 0 to the 10th place, there's a 0, 0, 0, 0. But now 100th place, we have 8, 8, 9, and 0. So 0 is the smallest out of those other numbers. That means our smallest number here is 8.008. And now after that number, after 100th place, well, 100th place, we have 9, 8, and 8. So 9 is greater, so it means... That means that is probably the greatest. So now we have these two for the second greatest. I mean, the second smallest. So 0 0.08, and then here we have a 1. So because of that 1, this number is greater, which means 8.08 .08 is the second biggest. And then comes 8.081, .08 and then comes 8 and 9 hundredths. And B, um, let's see, our smallest, we, they are 14. So let's go to our tenths place. We have two tenths. Our hundredths, we have zero, zero, four, one. So our two zeros here are one of the smallest. So we have zero, and our thousandths place, we have zero and a four. 
So that means that 14.2 um, to 0 is the smallest. And next would be 14 and 204 thousandths. After that would obviously be 14.210 thousandths and 14.240 thousandths. So yeah. Alright, next page. Um, number three, arrange the numbers in decreasing order. Alright, so A, we have 8.508. So decreasing means getting smaller, so we're going largest to the smallest. So first, the 8 and the 1's place, these two are one of the biggest. But we keep on going down, we have a 5, and then we have 8 and a 0, which means that is smaller. So that means 8.58 is our biggest number here. After that would be 8 and 508 thousandths. After that, um, you can tell it's 0 tenths and 5 tenths. Um, so that means this number is the um, third smallest. And then comes 7.058. And B, so we all have 439, but our tenths place we have 2, 1, 6, 2 which means this six is the biggest. So 439.612. After that, we had a two, one and a two, okay. But now let's look at our hundredths. We have one, what was I? One, two, here we have six, which means 439.261 is the second biggest. And then after that, we have, actually in our tenth place, these two numbers, two is bigger than one. So then we have 439.216. Then our, our smallest number would be 439.126. All right, number four. James measured his hand. It was zero point seven. It was zero point one seven meter. Jennifer measured her hand. It was zero point one six five meter. Whose hand is bigger? How do you know? So we have zero point one seven. Have zero point one six five. So let's start at the zero one place. We have a zero. And our decimal point, and now we have a one. So that's the same. So let's move on to the next digit. We have a six and a five. Oh, did I say six and seven. So seven is bigger, which means that 0 0.17, 17 hundredths is bigger. So that's greater. So whose hand is bigger? Jane, Jane's hand is bigger because the 0 0.07 and 0 0.17 is greater than 0 0.06 because from there. All right, number five, in a paper airplane contest, Mar Marcel's, I want to say Marcel, Marcel's plane travels 3.3. 345 meters. Salvador's plane travels 3.35 meters. Jennifer's plane travels 3.3 meters. Based on the measurements, whose plane traveled the farthest distance? Whose plane traveled the shortest distance? So we're explaining with a place value chart. All right, let's make our chart. Our thousands, hundreds, tens. So that's the thousands, hundred, and now we have tens. Here's ones and tens, but I don't think we really need tens. So first off, wait, let's make this bigger. We can split like into. So Marcel. Plane has 3.345 and Solidors is 3.35 and we can just put a zero here. And Jennifer's was just 3.3. 3. 
So whose train plane traveled the farthest? Um, let's look three, three, and here we have four, five, and zero. So five is the biggest number, which means Salvador's plane traveled the, um, the longest. And then zero is the smallest out of four, five, and zero. So that means Jennifer's traveled the um, shortest. So then Markel was in the middle. All right, so. Saw his plane traveled the longest distance. And then Jennifer's plane traveled the shortest. Distance. And here's our place value chart. So we can do four is. Wait, wait, hold on. So five is greater than four, and it's also greater than zero. So that's how one. And zero was less than five, and also less than four. So that's how Jennifer plane was the shortest. So yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps out my channel. See you next time. Bye.